Hey, what's up? I'm Crystal and just Monday, the day that the paper comes out, I was at the gas station getting cat food when I saw this beautiful face in the newspaper. But I don't remember doing anything extraordinary recently, so it took me by surprise and I bought a copy and uh, read the article on gun freedom being on the rise, which coincidentally the article is about uh, the history of concealed weapons license in America. But this picture was not <laughs> taken for that article. This picture was taken two years ago at an armed women are safer rally where this picture makes a little more sense, even though I realize it's an absolutely ridiculous picture. I don't own that gun. I don't own any guns. <laughs> I just got invited by this interesting looking fellow in the background. And I feel like armed women don't get raped, so women should be armed or know how to defend themselves. I go and he gives me this rifle and I dressed in a white dress with a blue jacket and red heels because I didn't want to look like everybody else. And I wanted to, I don't know, put a nicer face. Like we're not all rednecks, you know? I'm Apparently, I think I actually look more like a redneck in my obliviousness to why it's inappropriate to wear heels to a gun rally. Later in the day, I got Facebook messaged about this story online, and I went online to read the story, and the comment section is full of the usual, oh, what's a nice way to put it? Know-it-all twits. And there are a variety of opinions because this picture evokes a visceral reaction on both sides of the gun debate. Whether you're for guns or you're against guns, this picture is going to give you an opinion about the matter. I have to address some of these comments because some of them are just so crazy. Put a hijab on this woman and she looks just like those women working for ISIS. This has to be the capitalized, most unattractive picture and the worst way to represent the state I've ever seen. Uh, coincidentally, I have worn a hijab. I spent two years wearing a hijab in public, uh, not because I'm a Muslim or because I want to join ISIS, but uh, as a uh, spiritual and social experiment that was interesting. I'm sickened by this picture. I'm very sorry. I wasn't trying to sicken you. It doesn't look any different than the jihadists in the Middle East. What is happening to our state? And before you accuse me of being against the Second Amendment, I'm not. I just don't want to see people with big weapons next to an innocent child, especially with other news articles about children being innocently shot. Well, I certainly don't want to read about innocent children being shot either. That's, that's a tragedy and uh, it's one reason I think it's a nice freedom we have to be able to carry a weapon and, and protect your family. Jihadist, though. A lot of jihadi comments. Like, there's a lot of, a lot of hate. But then again, that happened two years ago, so I really wasn't expecting to be on the cover of the paper today. This picture is what's wrong with Idaho, says Jeremy. Well, this picture does say a lot a lot about Idaho, a lot about America, and what I learned today is that uh, a picture says a thousand words, but you can make up every one of them. And uh, there's usually more to the story. So this picture can be used by anyone anywhere in the world now that it's online to justify anything about me or women or guns or America, God forbid. I also learned you shouldn't wear red heels to a gun rally.